What's going on YouTube world? Your boy Tommy Guns back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well this 15th day of the new year. Just saw that the inflation report came out and um oh man, inflation is down to 6.8%. Winning. Anyway, uh if you guys ignore um gun-free zone signs when going into establishment go ahead and uh hit the subscribe button like the video and comment uh that helped me out with an algorithm let's get into it uh last night went to took my daughter to medieval times my first time going uh she went before with our other family but you know i, w I couldn't uh wear my hill people gear chest bag because, you know, going to be eating and all this stuff. And, you know, it was just inconvenience. It was just like a, a big, hey, look at me. So, just decided to, you know, wear uh, Glock 19. You know, my on-body uh, EDC. Well, let's jump into it. At the belt, the belt itself is a Blue Alpha Gear hybrid EDC belt. One with the female end is the one inch cobra buckle so it could slip through your, your pant loops easily. And on that I have this right here is a called a clinch pick from Shivworks. Pretty uh good piece of kit, good company. And it's just a, a get back, it's kinda like a K bar TDI knife, like a get back knife. So, like I said, if you're new to the EDC game, it's it would behoove you to get a, a quality belt that's rigid enough to carry the stuff that you're going to be carrying. Because as you can see, you know, it's, it's just going to get heavy. Anyway, let's move from right to left. Always good to carry something to stop the bleed. Carry a cat, a North American cat tourniquet, and that's sitting in a... Fieldcraft Survival uh, outside or inside the band tourniquet holder. I'll be getting a a slimmer profile cat hold uh, North American cat holder in the future, but for right now this this does the job. I I carry this either appendix alongside my firearm, or if I'm wearing cargo pants, I carry it in a pocket. Cause that's a good piece of kit. Up from there. Sunto Traverse Alpha, um, real good watch, had it for, shit, mm, maybe five years, still still ticking, still going strong. My um, light source, have a Mod Light PLH, PLH V2, real good light. Just got this for Christmas, uh, Skeletool. Leatherman Skeletool CX. Real good uh, multi-tool. And, you know, it has a 154cm steel uh, knife on it. Real good knife, real good steel. Next to that, have the Kershaw Launch 1. Also, well, CPM 154. Real good knife. In a Tenacore light bearing holster, I have a Glock 19 Gen 3 with a TLR 7 Alpha light. What I carry is Gold Dot Spare Gold Dot uh, Plus P 124 Plus P ammo. And my sights are Ameriglo, Ameriglo slight sights with the blacked out rear. Base plate, the aluminum base plate from Midwest Industry. Got that idea from the late uh, James Yeager. Shout out to Tactical Response. Simple Zippo lighter. Never know when you're going to need a lighter. And 
and I got this lighter from no quarters for you know Blackbeard. I got this lighter from Zero Foxtrot uh, Company. Um, it's veteran owned and they have a they have some good T-shirts and other stuff. Glock 19 mag, the spear mag, and well Glock 17 mag I should say. Pardon, with a Neo Mag double magnet magazine holder. Real good piece of kit right here. Last but not least, I just got this. It's a pry bar. Um, I work in a warehouse night gig, and this uh, comes in very useful. And I got this from this guy here in the States, Teal Designs, Teal Design Tools. So if you guys want to check him out, he has different kind, different pry bars, different length. Just check him out if you want. Um, it's a uh, machine and real, real well. So that's about it. Well, fellas, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys uh, think. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and um, look out for the next video. Be safe and stay dangerous. Peace.